In the video for today, I'm going to share with you a fantastic idea with which you could avoid losing your phone in the first place and if you do, how you could utilize that idea to track or get your phone back. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown, welcome to Child Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you're not, this is definitely going to cheer you up because my friend, if you're watching my video for today, I'm very much sure you are super uh, interested in uh, keeping your phone safe. So you did a good choice by uh, clicking on that link and watching my video, all right? So in order for you to ensure that your phone is not stolen in the first place, this is what you need to do. So and this works for Android devices. So if you have an Android device, you could do two things. You could get on to settings directly and once you are here, you could go to security and privacy. Once you are here, you need to ensure that find my device is set to on. So you could click on that option and you need to ensure that this is set to on. So you could just click on the toggle box and uh, unlock your device to ensure that find my device is turned to on. Now this is going to make your phone traceable when it is actually misplaced. And don't you think that find my device is not going to work? Okay, this is just going to give you the last location of your cell phone and all those things. Just watch my video till the end and then you can come to a conclusion about what this method can actually do. Now, once you ensure that find my device is set to on on your Android device, the next thing for you to do is ensure that you have a pattern set on your phone, a pattern lock on your phone. Get to settings and click on security and privacy. Once you're here, click on lock screen password. I mean, most of the Android devices would have these uh, type of settings. But uh, if you do not, just look for the option to set up a lock screen password with a pattern. Okay, not a code but with a pattern. Alright, so I get to lock screen password and click on set lock screen. Click on change unlock method and then I would get an option out here to set a pattern. So I click on pattern and I put in a pattern. Redraw the pattern. Redraw the pattern and click done. Then you could also go ahead and add a Once your enrollment is successful or your fingerprint is added, click on OK. And then you could uh, go back and you could do it a try. So now when your phone is switched off and uh, it is switched on, the phone is going to prompt you to put in the back. So if your phone is uh, in place or if somebody has stolen your phone, they're not going to be able to uh, you know, switch on your phone at all. They're not going to get access to your phone device. So what's going to happen is that if they are successful in turning off your phone, right? Not a problem. But when they switch it on, they will not be able to get access to your device. Which means that your phone is going to go online for a while and it could be traceable. So this method has been proven to be more effective with phones with uh, eSIMs or phones without any physical SIM cards. So whenever such phones are misplaced, or stolen if somebody finds the phone and has no intention of uh, giving it back phone they try to switch off and switch on the phone it is going to be tracked easily once your phone comes on you could easily track it through find my device because you had that turned on so you could utilize this method absolutely for free of cost to try and track your lost or stolen android device Give my video a thumbs up, post or comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care my friend.